Okay, my name is Richard Price, um, and I'm just going to talk a little bit about a uh, few things about my experience here in IWU. Um, I decided to go back to college uh, a couple years ago, uh, really because I've always had um, as a goal of mine to obtain a college education and earn a college degree. So, um, one of the things that I that I understood being an adult professional is that you always got to be prepared for an opportunity, and um, I think getting your education is the key in doing that. So that is the reason why I decided to go back to school. Now I chose IWU to uh, obtain my associate degree uh, because number one, my wife. Dana Price was a student here. She graduated with her social degree in, two, in 2006. She obtained her bachelor's degree in 2008. So I know the good, the bad, the ugly about being an adult professional. I mean, I watch her be a mom, to be a professional at work, and to a student in school. And it was tough on her, on her but she was able to get through that. And so, when I decided to go back, I said if IWU can work for her, it definitely can work for me. So that was the reason I chose IWM. But uh, more importantly, that it was a Christian college that was so important to me to be able to come in an environment where I can learn, where I can express my beliefs and be a Christian. And so that was the reason why I chose IWU. Uh, I've been impacted. Uh, in, uh, through my academics here at IWU uh, in a major way. Um, since I've been here, my writing has gotten better. Um, I know how to prepare a PowerPoint, and not only prepare, I've always had the energy to talk and to teach and to present, but now that uh, I have come to school and learned, I love learning. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm in school not just because, just to earn a degree in education, in business. I'm here because I just love to learn, and uh, IWU has provided that for me. Spiritually, I've been impacted in a major way because one thing, of course, I've always been a praying person, but I just think that it is so cool to start our class off with devotion, and that we, in my, in my cohort, we pray for one another, and not only we pray for one another, we follow up with each other and that is the coolest thing and from a spiritual standpoint that has been the most uh, important thing for me here at IWU from a spiritual sense. <clears throat> uh, I've grown as a leader not only in my workplace but in my community and in my home. Let me talk about my workplace. I am an animal control officer, uh, actually I'm a sergeant so I'm one of the leaders um, at my job and in my profession, in my profession, and one of the things I got to do, I train other animal control officers. And um, as a leader, I always believe you can't lead where you don't go. IWU has prepared and has equipped me to be able to stand before my coworkers and be a leader to first show them how to do it, but in a technical way to show them how to do it, and then practically be able to do that. My communication skills have improved tremendously, and I know how, been uh, working with my cohort as a team, I know how to be a team, I know how to be a team player, I know how to work as a team. So uh, that has uh, improved me as a leader. Uh, some leadership skills, uh, again, that I've developed here is, is uh, with my communication, uh, my ability to write, my ability to be able to correspond uh, in writing to um, uh, my different co-workers. Uh, the advice that I would give faculty, uh, a faculty member to, um, I guess the question was what advice would I give a faculty who want to make a positive impact on their student lives. And I, and I guess the main thing I would say is be yourself. Uh, when we come here, and I'm talking about the adult professional, we have been through uh, a lot through the week. Uh, some of us, you know, have been, got tough, have t had, had tough days at work, it's been a tough week, and 
we looking for someone that has the energy, but not, but even more than that, just someone that can be like like us, and that can relate to where we are. And I would I would encourage uh, my advice to the faculty would be to just just be yourself, be who you are, and appreciate the students for who they are and what they've been through. Uh, the advice that I would give students to make the most of their education at IU, IWU, I would, I would say three things. First of all, be present, be positive, and be persistent. You gotta be present, you gotta be here in order to make a difference. And I think uh, as a student, I would advise a student that you got to be present, not only in a physical sense, but in your mind, you gotta be engaging, you gotta participate. Then, I think you gotta have a positive attitude. You gotta be positive. Um, the, the instructors that I've experienced have been, have been, have gone above and beyond to help me be, to help educate me, to help me with whatever issues that I find along the way as I give myself to, to this learning process. And I think that uh, what they need from us, as need from me as a student, is to be positive. And I think uh, that's important. And then be persistent. There's going to be, this is a very difficult process, no question about it. I would tell anyone, this is a very difficult process. It's hard to be uh, a dad, uh, um, you know, work a job, full-time job, and go to school. But it's doable because the atmosphere and the environment that IWU uh, puts you in, it puts you in a position to be successful, and you can do it. But all you got to do is be persistent. Finally, my future plans is to go further and obtain my bachelor's degree uh, here at IWU. Um, again, as I said earlier, uh, someone once said that it's it's um, it's best to have an op it's, it's it's good to be prepared for an opportunity and not have it and have an opportunity and not be prepared. So my I just want to position myself through my uh, through my education to be prepared for whatever opportunity God has for me in my professional, in my spiritual, and in my personal life. And I think. Education is the start of that, and IWU has provided that for me. Thank you.